Hi guys, welcome back to Dome Rule 16. I am your host Devon, and today to wrap for a brand new video, it's Banishers: Ghosts of New Eden for the PC. Today I'll be running this game and showing you guys how to get it running on a low-end computer because this game can be actually quite intensive, especially if you have a graphics card that is like two gigabytes of VRAM or less. Anyway let's get into it so you're first of all going to need to find the config file for banishers it's going to be a local disk C whatever you have your name as listed here app data local and you're gonna find it under banisher ghosts of new Eden now this is an unreal engine 5 title so keep that in mind we're gonna go into where it has game user settings we're going to actually I'm gonna leave this in the description down below these settings that I'm going to ask you to put in we're simply going to copy and paste these here. And paste it right into the game user settings folder. We're going to hit save. Then we're going to go back again. There will be two files, the scalability file and this, the engine file. You're going to copy all of the scalability file as well. This makes the game obviously look way worse but this is if you want the extra performance this is what this is for and you hit save believe me this saved me a lot on my this saved me a lot on my 960 unfortunately I switched out the 960 and I didn't have time to change that so we're doing this on the Vega so have fun with that and we're gonna launch the game just I just want to show you like the differences and what's go what's going to be taken away yes like I said it is using the Vega because I switched out the 960 because I was recording all the benchmarks I was like I'm not switching that back right now because I haven't even done the Vega video yet so we're gonna go into that and then we're simply going to show you guys basically what what is different obviously it's gonna look like crap but hey it'll run You know, it's funny, I totally forgot. We're going to have to compile shaders, won't we? So as you can see, look at the character model already. You can see things aren't as they seem. A lot of things are a lot less, they're a lot less flat. It's compiling shaders again, which is why I'm actually just sitting here. But you can see it from this menu. Obviously, look at the background. Holy crap, it looks terrible in the background. So yeah, this is basically what it does. It doesn't do as much as Unreal Engine 4 did. Because, like I said, it's Unreal Engine 5. But there is a notable difference. I was getting 30 FPS around the 960. I used this and it was giving me in the 50s and the 60s. So the performance boost is quite high. I haven't been able to get this to run on integrated graphics. So this is strictly for those of you who have a dedicated GPU. Especially if you have a low-end one and you're trying to get some more performance out of it. It said the 960 or the 970 that's pretty much it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed once again don't forget to please leave a like comment share subscribe and stick around for more epic content uh, i'm gonna mute myself but if you guys want to stick around i will show you some gameplay after it's done compiling so yeah you guys are troopers for staying kind of sticking around for all that As you can see, things now look extremely flat. There's a lot less detail, like terrible, terrible levels of detail now. On an 8GB card, remember that this is an 8GB card. There's also flickering with the shadows as well now. They aren't running correctly. I've practically disabled most shadows, but as you can see, if we uncap the frame right now, it'll do some crazy number that it shouldn't be doing. My CPU can't even handle this at this point. But yeah, that was it. I'll see you guys next time. 